Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana dropping together with Bitcoin and this is sort of still covered here by our scenario as I mentioned in the previous video. As long as we don't see a break below the $131 level, um, we can still look at further upside in our scenarios here. Whereas already in the previous video I shared with you that this wave 4 needs to be complete really in the white count in order to maintain a uh, an impulsive perspective i don't yeah it's not it's clearly not impulsive anymore so i'll take the white count of the chart however that doesn't really change our one second that doesn't really change our support regions um so yeah that also clarifies the chart that clarifies the chart that it's at least um at best you could say yellow yellow if you remember is our diagonal pattern which is as I said difficult to trade right i mean these diagonals um they are they are not impulsive they are messy way four corrections are always difficult and um, we had our initial abc structure in wave one here from the 23rd of january low then a wave two pullback and this here is already a very very messy structure to the upside best i can tell is that this is a wxy structure and in the y wave we had our a b c and the c wave was complete as we mentioned yesterday already in the video and then based on that count the risk was there for a deep pullback in the um in the wave four i have to say though this now looks a bit like a five wave move down so it could be an a wave in a well in a five wave move in wave a Unless we had this A shallow B and now coming down in C, that's possible as well. Um, but as I said, you know, we don't trade the count. Okay, we trade the levels. That's always what ideally is done because um, as I said, when you have a support area or two support areas that are moving together or that are just above each other and overlap, we have to consider the lower one because what you don't want to do is sort of stop out below the upper one. Yeah. And then it sort of just it turns around at the 38.2 FIB level of the lower one. Okay, that's not really how it should work. Clearly not. Um, and also important in these contexts, always position sizing. It's actually quite simple. All you need to do is you trade a math. The problem is most people get too greedy. So what the thing is, if you want to get some positions up there, they need to be small, right? They need to be small because if you trade this setup, you would have to stop out at some point, but below the box somewhere, right? And, you know, if you buy up here, you, ha you have to have a small size, a small position size. It doesn't work. You know, there's no other way to do it. If you, if you position large up here and you have to basically accept a, accept a drawdown all the way down to 131, yeah, I mean, it hurts, doesn't it? So ideally, it doesn't hurt. When you go in small up there, yeah, it doesn't hurt if it goes down a lot because you can accumulate more. That's the idea. But then again, buying in a wave four, it's always, you know, it's just not a wave two. You know, it's a wave four. They are more difficult to trade. That's just how it is. And we see this pullback at the moment. We are not even at the 38.2 FIB level. And then we have the 50% FIB level still as possible support at 143.70 and the golden ratio level at 131. Now, earlier today, I posted um, one of the updates here for our gold members and shared with you that, yeah, as long as we're holding sort of 131 or ideally even 143, because that's the 50% FIB level, very important for a fourth wave, um, we should in the next move up get to 225 to 268 and that um, also hasn't changed anything else we can do is there anything else we can do i think what we might be able to do is to try to figure out if there is a trend line that we could draw here that might support the price but not like that probably rather here yeah i'm not sure how reliable that one is um but we have three touch points there thing is if i extend it it's it, you know we only have three really so it might be worth watching here for potentially um, this trend line, if we get there even. That would be really a very deep wave for, I have to say. But it's possible. You know? What we normally don't want to see in a fourth wave, even, even not in a diagonal, is that it goes below the 50% FIB level. I have to accept it, however. 
in a diagonal. And that's what I shared with you in the previous video. Uh, I talked about this as a buffer zone, basically. Yeah? A buffer zone where, yeah, we have to accept that sometimes the 50% FIB level is broken, but below the golden ratio level here, below 131, I can't really call that a diagonal, all right? So either way, in um, there is no confirmed low in place yet. Pay attention to the next FIB levels. I think the next upside targets are clear. I think the critical support level, which is here the golden ratio level, is clear as well. And yeah, so far um, we're still moving here in an overall uptrend. As I said, it's quite a funky pattern, which however still is bullish until we break below 131. And those support levels are always giving you the risk that you need to accept basically in case of a drawdown. Yeah, that's my update about um, Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.